What's up, Artem MMA Analysis here, going to be talking about Dana White's Contender Series again. I know I've really been flooding my channel with a lot of Dana White's Contender Series content, but it's just because I'm so excited for Dana White's Contender Series this year. You guys know I love Dana White's Contender Series. I loved it last year too. I do a lot of uh, very in-depth breakdowns closer to the cards, and it looks like we've actually got a confirmed date for at least one of the uh, Contender Series fight cards, July 26th, which is a very uh, exciting time to uh, be around for sure. So Joe Bodybags Pfeiffer is the matchup that we're looking at, and he's going to be fighting Ozzy Diaz. Before we get into that, though, I will mention that Shannon Ross from Eternal MMA is going to be, uh, from Australia as well, will be fighting on Dana White's Contender Series this year. So the matchup is Joseph Pfeiffer. He fought in 2020. Uh, he, he unfortunately didn't win, but the opponent that he did lose to did get signed to the UFC. And uh, Ozzy Diaz, on the other hand, 7-1. and one. Uh, LFA uh, recently headlines a card against Assis and uh, knocked him out in the first round. So you know Ozzy Diaz, man, he's on a round one tier right now. He's uh, 7 wins, 6 finishes in the first round, and he is on a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 fight. First round finish streak. This is a guy that the UFC probably does want in the uh, uh, in their roster for sure. Joseph Pfeiffer, on the other hand, pretty exciting fighter as well. All of his wins are coming inside the distance, except for one uh, earlier on in his career. He did lose to Dustin Stoltzfus, and I'm gonna be honest, guys. I mean, it wouldn't be that bad. If this loss aged a little bit better and Dustin Stoltzfus won a couple of fights in the UFC. But unfortunately, I just don't have that um, news for you at all. We actually have um, the opposite. Dustin Stoltzfus does have a great ground game, obviously. And he did, uh, I guess, win with a slam or I guess like some sort of TKO submission there. And uh, unfortunately for uh, Dustin Stoltzfus, he has not had a successful UFC run. He is 0-3 uh, in the UFC. But he did beat very good. There was a competition uh, outside, and he has his twister submission on his record too. But um, yeah, as for the as for the loss uh, for Piper, I don't think it's the greatest, uh, the greatest look anyway. And prior to that, he hasn't really been fighting the same level of competition as... Uh, Ozzy Diaz, in my opinion, I believe um, Austin Trotman was a short notice replacement though, so I will give him uh, that benefit of the doubt, but even then he was being to be fighting a 10 and 7 fighter anyway. So um, yeah, the level of competition that Joseph Pfeiffer is fighting, I don't think is as great as Ozzy Diaz. I mean, he just beat uh, Bruno Assis, who's 12 and 5. Prior to that, he did beat 9 and 5 and 3 and 0 and 5 and 2 guy. Like, guys with not the best, but not the worst records at all. You know, considering he was 3-1 and one fighting a 5-2 and two guy, 4-1 and one fighting a 3-0 and oh guy. Like, he's beating good levels of competition for, like, the record that he's got. He's um, not actually on a, a 5 a first round finish streak. Sorry, that's a win in the second round. But he's on a 5 fight finish streak anyway. In fact, this guy has actually only ever um, gone to the second round twice in his career, which is absolutely insane. So I do think Ozzy Diaz... And Joseph Pfeiffer are both going to be bringing power. They're both going to be bringing finishing ability. Joseph Pfeiffer, five wins by KO, two by submission. Ozzy Diaz, on the other hand, also has five wins by KO and two by submission. I think someone's getting knocked out on this one. And uh, you've really got to make the pick. Who do you think is going to get slept? Ozzy Diaz does have... Um, he's, he's six foot four for a middleweight, which is absolutely insane. We don't know his reach. But we do know that Joseph Pfeiffer is six foot one with a seventy five inch reach. So who's gonna get slept? I think that Joseph Pfeiffer may be getting slept in this one here. No disrespect to him, but I just feel like uh, maybe he probably should have won at least another fight before getting the Dana White's contender series contract. He is only twenty five, and Ozzy Diaz is thirty one. So maybe Joseph Pfeiffer does have the higher ceiling. Uh, out of the two, but I do feel like if uh, Joseph Pfeiffer doesn't win this one, it's going to be a long road to the UFC for sure. And uh, I just recognized this guy from somewhere, and it's a weird situation. Oh, that's right, because he fought Joseph Holmes and Jamie Pickett uh, on Dana White's Continuing Series himself. So uh, anyway, like point is, um, yeah, I'm gonna be uh, I'm gonna be picking uh, Aussie Dares very very early on, but I feel like both guys are gonna have knockout power. Both guys are going to be looking to finish the fight. I think it's a great Dana White's Contender Series matchup, and I really do like that this is happening. They're giving Joseph Pye for another opportunity. Uh, maybe they, uh, I don't really know, maybe they see something in him that I don't, but he did get finished in the first round to Dustin Stoltzfus, who really hasn't had the greatest UFC run, unfortunately for him. Ozzy Diaz, I feel like, you know what, he's probably more in his prime. He's a little bit older. He's also uh, got power, and he's also um, headlined a card before as well. He's been in a five-round fight. I mean, it only um, lasted one round, but he's, he's still been in a five-round fight, we can say that much. So uh, I'm going to be going with Ozzy Diaz uh, to get the knockout here.